Every morning at nine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245. Kind of broad at the shoulder and narrow at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lift to Big John. Big John. Big John. Big bad John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. He didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if he spoke at all, he just said hi, Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans where he got in a fight over a Cajun queen. And a crashing blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land, Big John. Big John. Big John. Big bad John. Then came the day at the bottom of a mine when a timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were praying and hearts beating fast, and everybody thought they'd breathe their last, except John. Through the dust and the smoke of this man-made hell, off the giant of a man that the miners knew well, grabbed a sag and timber, gave out with a groan, and like a giant oak tree he just stood there alone, Big John. Big John. Big John. Big bad John. Strength, he gave a mighty shove, and then a miner yelled out, There's a light up above! And Twenty men scrambled from a would-be grave. Now there's only one left down there to save. Big John. With jacks and timbers, they started back down. Then came that rumble way down in the ground. And that smoke and gas belched out of that mine. Everybody knew it was the end of the line for Big John. Big John! never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a marble stand in front of it. These few words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies one hell of a big, big man. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big John.